I'm a person who loves doing budgets, so I calculated how much money I'm gonna save by installing reverse osmosis, if it's worth it, if maybe I should get something else. Not only the water tastes a lot better, but it just makes me feel better about myself. I made a list, I've been writing this down for over a year, I've been writing what I like about it, what I don't like about this reverse osmosis. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, so I'm standing by my sink and my faucet here because I will show you and I will review my reverse osmosis system that I had installed in this apartment, rental apartment, just over a year ago. And I also have been using the same reverse osmosis system at my house uh, back in Texas for more than three years. Here you can see there's it's just one, not two faucets, but just one normal faucet, normal looking faucet. But if you turn on this faucet, you just have regular water from the plumbing. But if you turn on this one, the little one here, you have reverse osmosis that is coming from the tank below. So it's a pretty amazing faucet. I honestly love it. Because of this faucet, I was able to install reverse in this apartment. There is no way they would allow me to drill another hole in this countertop so that was the only thing that i was allowed to use i actually bought a similar faucet it was the same from the same brand but a different model that was matching with the reverse osmosis faucet so i had two faucets i still have two faucets at my house but in this apartment i have only one with two spouts so it's great, but I'm gonna talk about some pros and some cons of the reverse osmosis system, just so you can consider if it's for you or not. At my house, I have a regular reverse osmosis system from APEC, and here in this rental, I actually upgraded and I got a reverse osmosis system with alkaline water and what's interesting when i first tested the water after installing it it actually showed me that it was more acidic than a regular water from the city plumbing and i thought something's wrong like this is not working but then i started using different tests first i used the strips here so i use these strips and I bought them on Amazon and they showed me that the water, the alkaline water here was acidic. So I was like, wait a minute. I actually contacted APEC to see what's up, if just my system maybe it's faulty, what, what's going on. But then they advised me to get an electronic pH monitor. So I did that. I didn't buy the one they recommended. I bought the one that I thought was good. So I bought this one and I tested the water and well, turns out it is alkaline. So just heads up, don't buy these tests. Like they are probably good for bacteria, whatever. Like th you get a lot of uh, different tests with this one, but it doesn't work for pH. It just does not. So get a digital pH meter because otherwise you're gonna be disappointed. So installation of the reverse osmosis is actually not that hard, but because I've never done it and I'm scared of all things plumbing, I just trust the professional to do it. So I did hire a plumber to come in and install this reverse osmosis. I didn't have to do anything. I just ordered the faucet and I ordered the reverse osmosis system both on Amazon. And um, then I just paid the guy to come in and he actually came in with his assistant. So uh, they were in and out very quickly. Uh, I think it took them definitely less than 30 minutes to install the whole, whole system and it works fine. It works great. I exchanged the filters with my husband. I didn't need to hire anyone to do that. You just have to make sure that you have some towel because when you changing the filters, it gets a little messy, like the water spills from the tank. So not a lot, but just a little bit. So always it's good to just have uh, some towels underneath, but the whole process is not, doesn't take that long. And I only change the filters once a year. So it's not that big of a deal, honestly. And considering how many plastic bottles I was using before, I drank a lot of water, like minimum of two liters per day. Same for my husband. My dog also drinks a ton of water and we use this water for cooking. So we use a ton of water. And before, like we were buying like, you know, the, the five gallon big water bottles. And first of all, they were insanely heavy and it was a pain in the ass to like buy them and then drag them to the apartment. And second of all, I hated that I was wasting plastic. And third of all, 
I hated the idea that like those bottles were just sitting somewhere in a hot warehouse in this plastic and for whoever knows how long. So I don't know why I always thought about it just in the back of my head. So this mentally made me feel so much better just installing the reverse osmosis. Not only the water tastes a lot better, but it just makes me feel better about myself. Like I'm not, you know, contributing to making the environment full of plastics. It's just something to keep in mind. I would say the biggest pro is the cost. Obviously, at first you have to spend, like I think the reverse osmosis is like $200, $300 plus. I had to buy the faucet, but an installation too. I paid for the installation $300. I am in Los Angeles, so I think it's a little more expensive here than in any other part. With something to keep in mind, you may pay less for labor, especially if you hire a handyman. I hired a licensed plumber just to be safe. It is a rental and with a huge <laughs> security deposit, so I didn't want to mess anything up. But basically the first, like the initial cost, was obviously a little pricey, but I'm a person who loves doing budgets. So I calculated how much money I'm gonna save by installing reverse osmosis, if it's worth it, if maybe I should get something else because I did use Berkey for a long time, which now I wouldn't use because it's not that great. Like reverse osmosis is so much superior over Berkey filters and you don't need to clean it all the time. Like Berkey would get so nasty inside. And so this is just so much better. And yes, it's much, much cheaper using reverse osmosis water, even with that high initial cost. After some time, it was worth to me to install even just for a year. I was actually ready to move out out of this apartment after a year. So I calculated based on staying 12 months. We are here longer, so it's even cheaper than I expected. So obviously I made a list with all the things that I have noticed. I've been writing this down for over a year. I've been writing what I like about it, what I don't like about this reverse osmosis. So let's get into it. First of all, amazing tasting water. Nothing beats it, especially that it is an alkaline water. So technically it is better for you. It's better for your teeth because anything acidic is really bad for your teeth. So technically alkaline water should be better. So not only tastes better, but I feel better, especially if you have acid reflux, it should help with that alkaline water. So something to keep in mind, I honestly feel like I'm drinking a lot more water because it tastes better and because it's so accessible. Like I literally don't have to go to the store to buy water. I just come to the sink and refill bottles, which I have. I have a lot of like refillable bottles, which are very cute. So I just love drinking water. Here is my water bottle. I have a few of these. These are BKR and I got a straw, just a glass straw with it. So it's super easy to clean because I literally, I just wash the straw so I don't have to like wash the spout so much. Like I put it in the dishwasher anyhow, the straw on the bottle, uh, but it's great. Oh, it just tastes amazing and I love it. So if you are looking for a way to like motivate yourself to drink more water, like that was it for me personally. Like I just enjoy drinking this water over bottled water, over like even Berkey water. So that's a tip, one of the tips, yeah. Of course, it's also way cheaper than plastic bottled water. Like I don't think I need to, you know, focus too much on it. it. It is much cheaper. Like I said, the first initial cost might be a little scary, but it's worth to like do your calculation and you're gonna see that in the long run, it is much cheaper. And another thing which I like is that you don't need to drill another hole in your countertop anymore. That wasn't a thing a few years ago when I was looking into buying reverse osmosis. Like they didn't have those faucets that have two spouts. So that wasn't an option, now it is. So now if you even live in a rental, that's not a problem. You can still get reverse osmosis and you can uninstall it before you leave. It's not that big of a deal, so. And this is the second time I bought the same brand of the reverse osmosis. I was very happy when I first got it to install at my house. Like, I remember, like, that was one of the things that I just enjoyed about owning a house. I was like, oh my God, the reverse osmosis, I was waiting for years. So I was insanely excited. And that was one of the things I was like sad going back to, you know, renting again. I was like, 
I can't imagine just like buying plastic water again. So I am glad that I found this faucet because otherwise I would be really sad. It, yeah, it just, once you drink reverse osmosis water, you can't go back. Okay, so let's talk over some cons because there obviously are some. First of all, it is that initial cost. And if you're not a handyman, if you're like me, you know, you don't know anything about plumbing, I had to hire a plumber. So that was $300. Uh, it could be cheaper in your area. Again, I live in Los Angeles and that was the first plumber that I found, but I was happy with their work, with everything. Like they installed it properly. They showed me how to use it. It was great, but it is expensive. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, the system itself, I think it's around $200, $300, depending which one you choose. I opted out for a more expensive one with alkaline water for this rental, but in my previous home, I did have just regular reverse osmosis, which I was still very happy with. So honestly, like if I would buy it again, I still would probably get the alkaline one because the difference in price is not that high. And I just really like the taste of alkaline water, but again, it's a preference. Like you can go and buy alkaline water in the store and compare which one you like. You probably will like alkaline water more, but again, it's an option. I still like hands down would buy just regular reverse osmosis if like the cost would be an issue for me. The other con is the water pressure. So it's not that big of a deal for me. Like it takes me a few seconds to refill my water bottle. It doesn't take that long, but obviously it's not like a super high pressure. Like if you would, you know, be using a bathtub, you know, shower, like this is obviously a water tank and the pressure is what it is. I will show, I will insert some clips so you can see the water pressure. I wish it was slightly stronger, but I never think about it. It's honestly not a big deal for me, but I wanted to mention it uh, in case you're wondering. Oh, another thing, I needed to get a special adapter at Home Depot to install this reverse osmosis. It didn't come with that. I'm gonna also insert some clips and also link the adapter below. You will need it. Unfortunately, I don't know why it doesn't come with that adapter. It's a super cheap adapter from Home Depot for like a dollar. You just need it to install it. And for some reason, it is it just the, the system doesn't come with it. It comes with everything else, all the cables, everything, just not that little adapter. And one last thing is replacing the filters. So I wish it wasn't that messy. One time when I was replacing filters at my home, I was doing this for the first time and I forgot about towel. So it spilled all over my cabinets, the water spilled and I didn't have any towels at hand. So that was a mistake that I did. You, you just need to have towels whenever you're replacing the filters, which you do probably once a year, I do once a year. So it, it, like it doesn't happen that often, but when you do, it just, it's a little messy, you need the towels. But a part of it, it's not hard, I can do it, just it gets messy. So I would say it's a con. I wish it was, you know, I wish the water didn't, you know, spill when you replace it. I wish it wasn't that messy, but because you only have to change once a year, not a big deal. And now, because I did it first time and I messed up, now I remember, so uh, it's it's usually not a problem. The second time I was replacing filters, nothing happened. So that's my review. I hope you like it. I'm still a huge fan of the reverse osmosis system and also this faucet. I love it. I'm gonna link the reverse osmosis system as well as the adapter and the faucet all below. So don't forget to check out all the links, but I'm still insanely happy with the system. Uh, it was hard to convince my husband. He thought uh, that it's gonna be a pain in the ass to like install it and like use it, but now after a year, over a year, and like almost three years with even the original system that we had, it's just, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Like even when we travel, I'm so sad that I don't get to bring my reverse osmosis with me. Like that's that's how insane because the water just never tastes as good. So it's, it's funny to experience that. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.